So what do you get when you combine a radiant city girl with a kind-hearted country boy? <laughs> you get this, right? You two are our country song. You really are. Uh, you're like chocolate and pretzels or like french fries and milkshakes. Two things that on the outside might not look like they go together, but when you combine them, they end up being even better together than they were apart. The older I've gotten, the more I've realized how much I actually look up to my brother. He has passion for this life that you can feel when you're with him. She was the girl that every mother wanted their son to date and the friend that everyone knew they could count on. Morgan is just the most selfless person and doesn't expect anything in return. So Morgan and I met through a mutual friend, um, Mackenzie and Thomas. So Thomas is one of my best buddies from uh, high school. Mackenzie is her best friend through uh, just school um, and life. So that's how we met. When I began dating my boyfriend Thomas, I met his lifelong friend Alex. His politeness always stood out to me and the way that he could bring the party to any room he was in. Once I decided to move to Columbus, Thomas started his campaign to get Morgan to move to Columbus as well. It was hook, line, and sinker once we introduced the two of them together. I thought he was cute, and I was like, okay, well, I'm sure I'll see him around because he's friends with my friends. But then it got back to me that he liked my smile. I was like, okay, we can hang out. <laughs> I knew the moment she offered to make me a sandwich <laughs> on the boat, and I told her that you can come on this boat anytime you want if you make sandwiches, then she was all about it. And I still get sandwiches all the time now. And she keeps smiling. Sean got to know Alex before he passed. He gave her father the respect and gift every father wants by asking Sean for a hand in marriage. A long time before he finally asked you. <laughs> I can only imagine the comfort that gave him knowing that you would be here to take care of her forever. I am ready to say I do to the love of my life. Please stand. The adventure, you guys. <laughs> Who would have thought a sandwich on a boat would have paved the way for this moment? <laughs> I didn't know then that we would have ended up here, but when you carved a Christmas tree into a pumpkin, I started to think what it might be like to stand here. And then I couldn't stop thinking about you and wanted to spend all of my time with you. I love you, Alexander, and all the weight of the word and I am overjoyed to make these promises to you and become your wife today. I vow before my family and friends to love you wholeheartedly. I promise to support you in all of our dreams, to hold your hand through the good and the bad. I pledge to be your partner, your kitchen buddy, and your best friend. I promise to choose you every day. I did it. <laughs> Alex and Morgan, because you have made your promises here in the presence of God and all of us, I am extremely honored to pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Alex, you know what to do. You can kiss your bride. <laughs>
Amen. Um, and we are so grateful for all of you to be here to welcome you and celebrate this marriage, um, this wonderful marriage of Alex and Morgan. May the sun meets the rising line, you and me. Morgan, you make your mom and Doug so proud. Um, you're an amazing role model to Isabella and Logan, and your dad's love continues um, to shine through you every day. Morgan, it's no surprise that my brother has chosen you to spend the rest of his life with. You're a blessing to us, Morgan. The best way for my brother and the best aunt. An older brother's prayers answered. Oh, man. I thought I'd do better than this, I'm sorry. Thank you, God, for the marriage of these two very special people. Thank you all. I made it through it. Number two.